Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Meal Time, vending machine edition, and we are at the Banyan Tree Bakery right here, but it's closed. However, they got one of these things. It's a vending machine. This is kind of an interesting one. Unique. I like the display cases. Everything's 500 yen. So what's that, $4 in today's dollars, the conversion? Cute little sign. So whatever you decide, it's 500 yen. It looks like you get three pieces in each store. So I'm not really interested in the white bread. Don't really need that because I can't really make a sandwich right now, but definitely get some of the buns and things. This one looks good. So you push the button and you're in. Try this one. Oh, we got some uh, sesame seeds on there. Nice. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go find a place to eat. We are in the alley right behind the bakery. I'm starving. I'm just gonna have a nibble off of each one of these. See what's inside. Oh, look at that. It's on fun that, the sweet red bean paste. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice fresh bread. I like that. This is gonna have cream in it, I think. That's just by the shape of it, you can kind of tell typically these ones that are triangular sort of usually have the cream. Not always, but usually. Oh yeah, there's the cream. Cream custard. You don't get much cream. There's maybe more on the other side. About the same. It's tasty. Custard cream. My only complaint is there's room for lots more cream inside there. Okay, let's do another one. This is the curry bread, I think. I think. Yeah, there it is, curry. Ugh, looks horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> looks can be deceiving when it's curry bread. Not feeling it. Ugh. This one is the donut. Is it a donut or a bun? Oh, that looks interesting. Is that sweet potato? It looks like that. What is that? That's sweet potato, but this? Not sure. Mm, sweet potato. Mmm. This is tasty. I like the sesame seeds on top. Mmm. Sweet potato is genuinely sweet in Japan. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Whoa, different. This looks like the Anko again, but sort of a different color. Just bean paste. The dark type. Not red, dark. Mmm. Tasty. I'm definitely a fan of the bean paste. I think I saved the best for last because it's got the twist on it. That's usually a good sign. Yep. Chocolate! Oh, yeah! It's a chocolate croissant. Only this half, the small half. Nice pastry. Mmm. Creamy chocolate. Mmm. That's good. Oh, goodness. This, this is great. There's a drinking fountain here. Oh, nice. I am so thirsty after that bread. 
Ici. That's a lot of water. Okay, this is a cotton candy shop right here. They're making it inside, but they've also got a vending machine outside and there's a big line to, kind of a line to get into it. It's cotton candy from a vending machine. Now, the last time I tried one of these machines, it was out of order, but this one um, looks like it's in order because the shop's right here. Lots of different types. I'm thinking the chocolate mint sounds good. There's also peach, there's cola flavor, there's chocolate banana, rainbow. That's what I had last time was the rainbow. It smells really good. Let's go for it. Chocolate, mint, cotton candy. Oh, it looks good. Let's eat it right in front of the machine here, shall we? <laughs> it's a bit of work to get this cellophane off of the cup here. Almost just need something to jab it with. I'll jab it with this key right here. Here we go. Chocolate mint. Cotton candy. Ooh, it's uh how is it? It's dense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. It's really minty. Oh, oh, goodness. I guess there's chocolate in between the layers here and the chips on top. But the, I guess the blue is the mint flavor. Mm. Oh, goodness. It's, it's like really concentrated cotton candy. Not so fluffy, it's like you're biting into a cotton ball and then the sugar starts melting in your mouth. Pretty interesting. The flavor's pretty good. They nailed the chocolate mat. Wow, these things have been doing some business today, huh? Look at all the empty capsules. Any food ones? Mmm, not really. Hey guys, I'm at Omori Station in Tokyo and they've got a vending machine room over here, a building. A room full of vending machines. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Ice cream, they've got okonomiyaki pancakes, ramen, gyoza. Ooh, they got sushi. Look at that, huh? Sushi. This is a, a Korean pancake, Chijimi. Nice, they've got some different curries and what is it? Thai, gapao. Got Italian food here, a bunch of spaghettis, carbonara. Oh, and here's the pizza guy again. I've had his stuff before from a different place, the square pizza. And then this is a meat machine here, selling all kinds of good looking meat, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try the, uh, the Thailand Kapao. That looks really good, number five. Got my cooler box ready here. 
It is. Can't really see it in there. And they've got, look at that, I gotta do the sushi. This is namuru. It's the, like the Korean vegetables inside. Sushi from a vending machine is pretty rare. Pretty rare indeed. 1,300. Looks like you get eight pieces in there. Number eight. Oh yeah, there it is, eight pieces of sushi in there. And it looks like we've got some ice cream bars here. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm willing to try anything that's different that I haven't done before. This one, the pine, they're all pine. Pine or milk, number three. Oh, that's cute looking. I think it's time to go eat. All right, let's get into the ice cream right now because it's gonna melt before I can get home. Very cute. Can we get it to come out of here? Mm hmm It's like a sherbet. Tasting kind of what? What is that flavor? Hmm. Pineapple. That's what pine is, short for pineapple. Very refreshing. Hmm. All righty, we are at the train station and they've got the Petite Mall here. Got a lot of reflection going on, but snack machine. It's been a little while since I've tried this. Any new items? Fettuccine, what is that? Gummies, gummies, number nine. Let's try that. Alrighty, all is good to get new stuff from the Petite Mall. Yeah, I'll try this with my son, for sure. He likes, it's cola flavored. Okay, yeah, let's get another one, what else? Anything new? Bonbons, bourbon, what is that? Almond, slow bar, I've had that before. Mm. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, oh, every burger, that's my favorite. Oh, I have to get that, it's been a while. It has been a little while. My favorite Japanese snack ever. Oh yeah. Never go wrong with every burger. Oh, these things are the bomb. Hey guys, I'm Megabrain6100 and I'm being joined by Eric Surstix. And welcome to Eric Mealtime. Today, we have got another round of vending machines food, and it's a world foods tonight. That's what we're having, world foods. So, nothing here is from Japan. It's from different places around the world. We have Korean chichimi, which is Korean pizza. And we have, this one is called gapao. It's a uh, Thai curry, comes with the egg on top. And then we've got Korean sushi here. And then we've got a salad that the chef prepared for us just so that we can get our greens in that didn't come from the vending machine. And actually we do have a couple of snacks that do come from Japan. Oh, and our drinks too are from Japan. So That's are right. you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's do a come by, have a drink. What do you got there? I got a lemon cocktail, I guess. Okay, cool. And I'm having a Santori, it's a uh, Santori beer. The fall season, all right? So let's crack them. All right, cheers. Cheers. Good to see you again. And uh, yeah, let's have a sip. 
I can smell yours from over here. That, wow. It tastes good. It smells really fruity. Because CC Lemon is really the number one citrus soda, I think. But I'm really smelling the pineapple. Wow. And this is pretty good too. Yeah, nice refreshing beer. Yeah, I like how they change it seasonally, the, the flavors a little bit in Japan. And uh, it's been uh, weeks or so since I've seen you, right? Yeah, since we've done a video anyway. So, um, sunflower seeds, I got you a gift, okay? Here you go, Eric Surf 6. I love these. Oh, Thanks. well, yeah, it's okay, good. I thought you liked them. I can't eat them anymore because they, they, they get my lips all dried out and stuff. It's it's really hard to eat if they're salted. So anyway, those are uh, those are the Chinese ones actually. Yeah, which are they're super big. Chinese sunflower seeds are huge. So anyway, maybe we could eat some of those at the end of the video if we remember. We could do some snacks. But let's get into these vending machines selections. Where do you want to start? You want to take a shot? You take it. What looks appetizing to you? Because this is all hot food. So let's eat one of, or these two are hot. Let's eat one of these first, and then we'll go to the salad, and the sushi can be eaten anytime it's not hot. So choose one of these two. This one? Okay, Chijimi, good. Chijimi. Korean pizza, here we go. Yeah. So we can each grab one of these, right? Yeah. Okay. And so one sauce each. There you go. So I'm thinking just I'm gonna pour all the sauce on mine and then just roll it up and eat it. Is the sauce boss? We'll let you know. It smells like really tangy. Probably gonna need some napkins for this event here. You need like a taco? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Korean people, they probably would not like this. Typically, you eat with chopsticks. All right, here goes. <laughs> hmm. It's a, like a, it's a gummy pizza, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> it's not made of bread, that's for sure. I like the vegetables. It's it's meaty, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is the seafood one. So I'm tasting something, some kind of seafood in here, and the onions, the green. But it's more similar to a Japanese okonomiyaki, right? Yeah. Than pizza. Yeah. <clears throat> so sometimes these have cheese in them, but this one doesn't. I've had them before where they taste exactly like pizza though, where it's it's more dry, it's not like gummy base. Do you like it? It's good. Hmm. So next up, let's do the other hot dish. Well, it's hot, right? That makes sense. Let me dish up some of this for you. This is a gapao. Do you like the egg? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Some people don't. Got to give you some egg on there. There you go. All right, we worked it out, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Is that enough for you? It does enough. Okay. I think you're gonna like this, though. Let's do it. I guess I'm using the serving spoon since I don't have one. Okay, let's get into it. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's good. So it's rice and meat and tanginess. I could eat this for breakfast. It's got the egg on it, that's why, right? Yeah. Oh, it's tasty. So, it's not really a curry. Would you call this a curry? It's similar. Similar to a curry. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do a salad course here, shall we? Can you grab some chopsticks and uh, we'll dish this up? So, we're gonna put burger sauce on the salad. That should be interesting, huh? It looks like Thousand Island, right? Let me smell it. it. Smells like Thousand Island, but it's thick. It's a thick dressing. I guess you could put it on meat. Going in for the salad. 
And the burger sauce. On egg, it might be good. Mmm. Oh. Zesty. We need some hamburger in here, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> God, it actually does work on the salad, I think. It's good. You like that? Yeah. Hmm. What would you... Okay, any kind of food. <laughs> it's not Japanese. What would you say is your favorite that you eat the most of? McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay. Mm, I've been there before. <laughs> we have one really close. We have a couple of them pretty close, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Would you guys like to see us do some McDonald's videos? Japan? McDonald's Japan? There's a lot. They always have new menus. It's the Skimmy Burger right now, isn't it? Yeah. Are they doing that? Yeah. So they're always changing the burgers. If you guys would like to see us do some of the McDonald's Japan, I typically stay away from there. Once in a while I'll go, but not too often. But uh, if it's his favorite, yeah, we could go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so salad, clear. That was pretty good, right? This is interesting, this Heinz burger. So I would like to try this on a burger, actually. Yeah. All right, I bet that's killer. Okay, so that's good. Moving on to the sushi here. And this is just gorgeous, isn't it? What do you think? There's no fish. So there is some ground beef in here. And then it's namudo, namudo for vegetable, Korean style. So it's going to have some spice. Okay, and this goes with the shoyu. This is a first, huh? Korean sushi from a vending machine. I mean, any sushi from a vending machine is weird, right? Yeah. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be fresh? We'll let you know. Hmm... Oh. Hmm. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> salty. Yeah. Isn't it salty? As we put it in the show you. <laughs> um I'm gonna try another piece. I'm going to try one that's got more stuff inside it. You can see, look at the cross section and you can see that one has more meat. They're a little bit, right? This one has more vegetables, maybe. Hmm. It tastes very foreign. I guess as you'd expect Korean sushi to be, right? This is tough. I mean, it's not bad, but... I don't know if Namudo, Namudo really goes with the rice. It's like bibimba, right? Yeah. You know bibimba, right? Bibimba is a Korean, very popular Korean dish where the Namudo, what's inside this, is served over rice in a bowl. But you can kind of choose to eat what you want, and this is kind of all mixed together. Kind of works. I don't know, I'm just so used to sushi with fish. And this with vegetables and ground beef is... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Korean people? <laughs> Do you guys eat this stuff? It's not bad. It's okay. I mean, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I can eat it. I can eat it all day long. It's, it's actually... It's got flavor. That's what's nice about Korean food is it's... It's got flavor. You're not gonna... If you go to Korea, which I've been to several times, everything you eat, when you eat rice, it's got flavor. It comes with the, the hot red paste in it that's really spicy. Yeah, and there's yeah. always like some fish or something, right? There's, everything tastes flavorful. It's yeah. got spice in it. Everything. Mm -hmm. Should we do some sunflower seeds or that's boring? They didn't come out of a vending machine, so I kind of feel like with the food, if it doesn't come out of the vending machine, we're not really going to eat it. But but anyway, since we are, we're doing... Let's at least show you the sunflower seeds. And in Japan, people don't eat sunflower seeds. Only hamsters eat sunflower seeds. But in China, which is very close to Japan, 
you can get these cheap. They import them to Japan cheap, like like a buck a pack. They're really cheap, buck and a half, something like that. Yeah, we love them. And the Chinese ones are huge. They're like, what, three times the size of American ones, right? The David yeah. brand, so. Sunflower seeds. The Chinese have got it going on, for sure. Okay, so moving on to the snacks. It's dessert time. We've got two different things here. Um, do you know about these, both of these? The, it's the fettuccine yeah. and every burger. Yeah, both of these? Before. Okay, so which one do you want to try first? The every burger. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> every burger. Every burger. What a name. For those of you who are new to the channel, the Every Burger is my favorite snack. And yeah, show that a close up. Let's yeah, get, you gotta have a close up of that. Oh yeah. And what? They're little hamburgers, cute overload. I just gotta go. Oh. Don't just eat one, you get a handful. These things are so amazing. These might just be the best part of the meal. Mmm. <laughs> are they finger looking good? <laughs> looking good. Mmm. Yes, they are. They're the perfect snack. No. They're little cookies, basically. And the burger is chocolate. And then the cheese is like a cream. And then they got little sesame seeds on top. It really is a good replica of a burger and they taste amazing yeah so yeah cute overload okay and then i've got this other thing here this is it's fettuccine right yeah fettuccine is a it's a type of pasta right the shape of pasta the thick pasta but this is a sweet right yeah so they're gummies or gummies gummy bears gummy pasta fettuccine Okay, right. shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. Just. <clears throat> but the interesting thing about these is they're cola flavored. Cola. Cola flavored gummies. Okay, I got mine. Hey, here we go. We're gonna have some burger sauce on the first one. Ugh. <laughs> Okay. That was bad. That was bad. Oh my gosh. So they call these gummies in Japan, right? Yeah. Gummies. Gummy bears in any shape or form are called gummies. So fettuccine gummy bears. It's nice, there's a sourness. I like the sour, but the cola? I don't know, the cola's weird. You're wearing a Coca-Cola shirt. <laughs> do you like cola flavor? Yeah. You do? Hmm. To me, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just weird. I think it should be like fruity is better. Well, it is kind of, it's like a fruity Coca-Cola. Yeah. But to me, Coca-Cola shouldn't be fruity, right? If you drink Coca-Cola from a can, is it fruity? No. Right? So, it's like a sour Coca-Cola. So, uh, how's your job search going? <laughs> <laughs> Doing okay? Doing okay. He's yeah. graduating from college and he's looking for a job. Yeah? Yeah. Fuji Soft? Fuji software? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So then you're gonna what? You're taking a test with them soon? Yeah. Okay. Any other companies you're looking at for jobs? I'm searching. Searching. No. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it could be some kind of company that does vending machines or something, like a vending machines business. I hear vending machines are very popular in Japan. Could it be a vending machines company? It might be. What kind of company could it be? Like a gift company? Yeah, you got you got any ideas? I got this. 
What's that? What? What? You... Oh, it's a... It's a kit. It's, there's a vending machine inside of that thing. Huh. That's cool. Where'd you get that? What was that? A Christmas present or something from three years ago? <laughs> <laughs> it says Kantan. You don't need any glue or anything, so it's easy to make. All right, let's open it up. It's a uh, drinks vending machine. It's packed like a book. Hopefully this doesn't, doesn't take too long. It says Kantan. It's easy to make. That's... That's the sales point. There's a look at it. Okay, so we're gonna do a DIY drinks vending machine right here. All right, let's do it. Great idea, man. Uh-oh, it doesn't look that simple. <laughs> okay, so in Japan it says Kantan and then you get this like mega, oh goodness. Okay, so we're about halfway in. We're to this point, right? That's halfway. So is it starting to look like a vending machine? Uh, kind of. It's coming together. Yeah? Maybe. Okay, that's halfway. Okay, our vending machine is fully assembled. How long did it take us to do this? Like an hour? It says Kantan, it's easy, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, so uh, here's the money slot right there. If you got a hot drink right there, that's the sample, and a cold drink sample, another cold drink sample, right? And then the drink's gonna come out on the bottom. All right, so go ahead, we got some money right here. All right, nice makeshift cardboard money. All right, go for it, Mega. I mean, Eric. <laughs> Okay, you gotta sort of push the button, and anything happens. You can try it. Maybe. Okay, well, let's... we were having the most trouble with that one actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got one. Nice, nice cardboard cold drink. Okay, that's all right. The other one work. Oh. Yep, yeah, another cardboard drink. Oh, oh, oh come on, the hot God. drink came out. Is it hot? It's not hot. Okay, well, there you go. That, that's basically it. That's our vending machine kit. I don't know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It looked like it was going to be cool there for a while, right? We yeah. had a good project happening, and then it's, as soon as we put the covering on here, the buttons didn't work anymore. That was the problem, right? It's not lined up for the buttons, right? As soon as you put the cover on, it's, oh, it got so hard. But anyway, it is what it is. It was a fun little DIY project, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. So what did you like the best out of the items that we had here? What was your favorite vending machine item? The Every Burger. The Every Burger. <laughs> okay, well, pretty good price value. This is about, I'll put the price down below, but I mean, it's less than a buck and a half. Yeah, they're good. They're really good. Um, I'm gonna say I liked the Thai curry was the best for me. Right? Yeah, it was good. That was an amazing dish. I like that a lot. The chichimi, eh, I'd rather it had some cheese in it. And the sushi, that was just weird, but um, yeah. It's, it's tricky doing these vending machine videos because it's hard to sort of balance a meal. I mean, you're getting all kinds of just weird stuff. But that's all part of the deal, right? You've got to try new stuff in Japan or wherever you're at if you've got vending machines. So that's kind of the idea. Gourmet stuff. Was it gourmet? Mm, I don't know today if it was up to restaurant standards or not. But anyway... So, hey, Eric Surf6, uh, how do you rate this meal today? Or wait, I'm the guest. I'm Mega Brain. So I'm going to go four. I'll go four out of six today. That's right. Eric? I'll go three. Three? You're going to go meh. Okay. Meh. So there was another round of vending machines. Next time we're going to do pizza, I think. 
I found a couple different pizza vending machines, so new ones. You can never go wrong with pizza, right? I mean, like legit Italian pizza. This should be good. So yeah. anyway, that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to... Reading your comments. Reading your comments, that's right. So Eric and Mega out.